WFNN. Headline News Update. <clears throat> Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny and pleasant, yet warm, Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've been our day with a mixed bag out there that seems to be the soup du jour these days. You got the Dow down 40 points. The S&P's up two. NASDAQ's down 27. NASDAQ 100 that is. Russell's up two. Semis are up 61 points. Trenny's up 12. New York Stock Exchange is up 45. Gold's up $9. Silver's basically flat. Uh, Lights Recruit is not flat. It's up a buck six. Uh, natural gas is not flat. It's up eight pennies. Trade out at 287. And a 30 year treasury up nine ticks. Print out at 119.27. Let's go figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with our ES Mini out here. The ES Mini completed a TD nine count top yesterday. I'll have to make note of that, but yesterday's high being the key threshold level. That's at 55.61. If price were, um, if price were to close above 55.61, it negates that signal. If it negates that signal, tells us this A to B equals CD pattern should come to fruition, which has got a price objective of 56.78. You got the spot volatilics that is still below its 50-day exponential moving average. Yesterday was a test and rejection. The bread day before was a test and rejection. As long as price remains below that, the S&P 500 is likely to head higher. The NQ will go ahead and complete its TD9 count pattern today. It's very near that one-to-one -one price objective of 24.13. Whatever today's high is going to be its threshold level, meaning that if price were to close above that, that tells us, well, it tells us, one, that we'd have a strong momentum move underway. And again, that first price target would be 2040, uh, 2413. I would say if its TD9 count pattern fails, let's say uh, tomorrow, 2937 would more likely be the price target. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, really struggling at the uh, center of its bearish structured weekly profile. So the key level of resistance there is 105.22. Goldilocks trading with inside that get smart cone of silence out there, still trading with inside its profiles. But we can see that rising trend line has held the support. The question is, will the descending uh, uh, trend line hold as resistance out there. I don't know the answer to that, but soon enough we'll find out. In the case of silver, testing support, which is profile support at the top of its profile, it has an A to B equals CD pattern that should take price up to 3403. Lights Recruit is trading above its prior swing point out here, so it wants to run higher. We'll have to take a look at its charts to see if there's any kind of TD9 counts we need to be aware of. And you've got natural gas, which uh, does have a sell the D point pattern, trading with inside its bearish structured profile. So the real key level that it needs to close above is 3.051. That's your the sell zone, the beginning of the sell zone. If it can't get up there, price likely heads bound to support, which is at 276. And you do have a sell the D point top inside a 30 year treasury out there. We'll take a look at that in the trading section. So, folks, uh, stay tuned for the Traders Edge Show. But if you have to start your Tuesday, have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now. In the world of